This is how to create the hologram effect in Premiere Pro. And make sure to watch to the end, I throw in some extra tips. The first thing to do is to get a shot of you acting like you're swiping or scrolling on social media. Then you will need to screen record your phone while actually scrolling or doing whatever you want it to be. And my pro tip for this is to watch yourself when you're actually scrolling, the video of you acting like you're scrolling. So when you see yourself click or scroll, that's when you actually click and scroll on your phone. It's the easiest way to sync them up. Bring both clips into Premiere and put the screen recording clip on top of the clip of you scrolling then go to effects search crop and remove any of the unwanted areas in your screen recording now sync the screen recording with when you are swiping so it looks natural one trick to make this easier is to lower the opacity of your screen recording then you can see both of them side by side together you can see here i made a cut and then just drag this to the left so it syncs up perfectly there's a little bit of a glitch but it doesn't matter it's expected we have we're dealing with a hologram it's supposed to be a little glitchy so once you're all set with that, nest the screen recording layer. Now it's time to make this look like a hologram. But before we do that, guys, subscribe to the channel and let us know what you want to see next. Any engagement helps. Back to the video. Now you'll go into Lumetri Color, go down to Curves and select the red curve and just take some reds out of it. You want this to be like a blue cyan, a little bit of green in there. So, so drop your reds down and then go back to Effects. Search wave warp and add it to your nest. Go to effects controls and change the wave type to smooth noise, direction to zero and wave speed to fives. This gives it that digital look. Back to effects and search glow. Add alpha glow to your nest, change the glow and brightness both to about 100. Then click the color option and make it a cyan blue color. You know, we want it to be a digital kind of blue hologram-y. So now you can obviously see there's a problem. We need to make it look natural so it looks like I'm actually scrolling. And to do that, you go back to effects, search basic 3D, add it, and you can now adjust the swivel, tilt, and distance to the image to make it look super realistic. And as you can see, it's looking very good. And one last way to really make this pop, we wanted to have like a little starting animation effect. So what you'll do is you'll go a few frames in right after it pops up, right before you're about to click it, and you will keyframe your scale and position where they're at now. Now go to the start of your clip and bring down your position so it looks like it's coming off screen and then put your scale to zero. And as you can see, it's popping up, but it's too slow. So what you'll do, Highlight the original keyframes we made and bring them in until they match the speed you want. Now, one more thing, let's change the opacity. Keyframe your opacity right under these keyframes to the right. Go to the beginning, change the opacity to zero. And now it kind of fades in as well. And lastly, I just added a few sound effects from Artlist. The ones I'm using are UI Hologram Open, Electro Textures Feedback Swoosh, and Lightsaber Maneuver. And I just lined them up accordingly to match what's going on in the video. And there you go. As easy as that. Don't forget to check out Mirror Camp and join our online school for more.